What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Bytown Town Bassin. Let me tell you, I woke up this morning and just had an absolute hankering to catch some big toothy critters. So, called up Limestone City Angler, headed down to Kingston. We knew we wanted some big bait. Big bait's super expensive, so this is what we did. Let's go to spot one. All right, so step one of today's mission is to get some bait. We're out at this little pool here right now. Got a basic little setup with some jig head and a piece of worm. We're gonna be catching some creek chub here. And the whole goal is to get as many creep chub as possible, not only to use as bait today, but we're also gonna keep some and freeze some so we can have some bait for when we wanna go on our, uh, look, there you go. First cast, Luke's on one already. Here's some taps. There we go. <laughs> this is what we're catching today. This is what we're using as bait. Friggin' perfect. Let's see if we can get him from here. Oh, come on. There we go. Wow, that is a tiny, tiny catfish. Luke, look at this catfish. Look at this tiny catfish. There we go. Oh, it's a perch. <laughs> now we're not after perch today, but I'll take it. This little guy. All right, back at it. Let's get some more bait. Luke had one of his good ones jump out of the pail, so we figured out a system with the net here. Air. Ah, oh, damn it, it's a baby bass. Keep catching everything but what I'm trying to catch. Look at this tiny bass. Ooh, perfect. There you go. Micro fishing today. Kind of cool though. Look at this, guys. Freaking log perch. Hey guys, check this out what he just got. A little log perch. Really cool. Never caught one before. Nice. That's like six different species in six casts, man. There we go. That's a good one, finally. There we go. That's a good one. There we go. Oh, flung my worm at me. Well, Luke and I have amassed a good little collection of creek chub for the remainder of our mission today starting to get a bit of rain so we're gonna pack her up for this spot head back to town and then I'm gonna explain what we're gonna be doing for part two with all this bait stick around let's go so as you can see the weather's taking a turn for the worse doesn't matter we're still out here we got our big old creek chub that we caught over at the other location there's a possibility of bowfin pike there's a bunch of toothy critters that live in this bay and I can't wait to see what we bring out first all right, all right, out at the new spot. Let's get some dead bait out there, then we wait. Nice, Luke. Nice, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You're right. What a start, man. Beauty bowfin. Woo. Man, they literally look like they're wearing a sheet of armor. It's yeah. crazy, eh? Go. Here we go, guys. There we go. First fish of the day, guys. Got that fresh creek chub ticket right here. Oh, nice pike. Oh, it's a big bowfin. Yeah, buddy. Holy crap, man. Got him. Woo! The only bowfin I caught last year, I didn't even get to show you guys because it fish flopped right out of my hands before I could. But today, baby, today. Oh, no, not again. <laughs> hey, at least you got to see it this time. Frank, let's get another, guys. Crap. No picture yet. Man, I swear to God, I will never get a picture with a bowfin. Brutal. Was about to reset my bait and I set the hook like I always do. Don't forget your hook sets. Uh, he was just sitting there. So that was a nice surprise. Got our line back in for round two here. Hey, up, 
There we go, guys. There we go. Nice. Feels good. Feels good, man. Ah, uh, she just started shaking. Pardon? She just started shaking her head. Feel those freaking head shakes, man. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, it's huge. Oh my god. Yes. Wow, look how fat she is. Oh my God, man. What a rush. Holy crap. Just sitting here in the rain, the wind, waiting for a bite, man. That's how it goes. Yep, putting in the work. It friggin' happened. I made sure to take the picture first, just to make sure I finally got a picture with a bowfin, but there you have it, guys. Absolute crazy fight with this fish. If you haven't tried fishing for them yet, please go out and do so. Do yourself a favor unreal crazy teeth on these guys they are prehistoric fish they can breathe on land they can breathe in the water they're just absolutely unreal so excited this has been a year and more in the making awesome so presentation today is nice heavy rod bait caster 30 pound braid down to 60 pound fluoro and a nice circle hook to go with the meat Basically, so the plan of attack today is to hit all these different weed pockets here where the bowfin are in they're pooling around together they're eating all their food we're tossing our creek chub right into those pockets, sitting with an open bail, and we're just letting the line run. They're hitting them left, right, and center. And what we're finding today is they've been grabbing the bait, but not moving anywhere. My first fish, I set the hook just to reset my bait, and there was a fish there. It's already happened to Luke today as well. So we really have to pay attention when we go and bring in our baits to reset. All right, guys, we just had another take. Ooh, it's a hot day today, bud. All right, let's go. Yeah, there we go. Friggin' head shake city. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Stay away from Luke's line. Oh, wow, the line ticked there. I thought I lost her. In the net, another, wow. Super cool today, be able to start and catch our own bait and then come out here and catch fish like this. Absolutely amazing. And just like that, he's gone. Woo. What an amazing day of fishing. From going and catching the bait this morning, I keep sitting here catching all these bowfin and thinking, man, we literally caught the bait this morning to make this happen. So that was so cool. Go over to Limestone City Angler and check out Luke's take on the day. In terms of what he said, he hasn't seen numbers like this in a long time. So the bite's heating up. Really appreciate you guys watching today. We'll see you at the next spot.